Hey cousins, welcome back to another video. So if you notice today the video quality isn't the best, it's because I filmed this video on my iPhone with the intentions of editing it while we were in Tennessee. But to be honest with you, editing a video was the last thing on my mind while we were in Tennessee. Anyway, today's video is just a quick clean and pack with me. You see here, I'm packing my suitcase. We were leaving out the next morning around, I think we left out around four or five. So uh, I packed and then I wanted to make sure I got my bedroom and bathroom nice and clean for my mama. She was coming here watching the girls for them. So uh, deep cleaned our bathroom in today's video. And then I'm also sharing a few clips with y'all from our trip, well, our time in Tennessee. So if you need some clean and motivation, then stay tuned. So these underneath this bathroom cabinet is absolute wreck. I need to go and find um some storage organize organization bins. Or maybe I can get to Dollar Tree this weekend and get y'all a bathroom organizing and closet because our closet's in the bathroom too and it needs organizing. So maybe next week I can get y'all a nice organization video out.
So is it just me or does everyone jump in the bathtub with no shoes on to clean it? Or do y'all wait till... I know people that wait till they're in the shower. And while they're taking a shower, they're also cleaning their um tub. I don't know, but this is how I like to clean it. Y'all see, it was long overdue for a nice cleaning. So yeah, this is, well, this was my plant stand that I had in my dining room. I had my plants on it, um, but I needed some place to store all the towels in our bathroom. So once I got my new plant stand, I decided to just put this in our bathroom and use it for my towels, washcloths, and also hand towels. One thing about me is I'm going to get on my hands and knees to clean around my toilet. I cannot stand for this area of the toilet to be dusty. Like, especially like hair and stuff. I can't stand it. So, hands and knees scrubbing with bleach, of course. Oh. Gonna go ahead and shake these rugs off and get the sweeping and the mopping done and the bathroom is gonna be nice and clean for my mama.
see y'all now we are off in Tennessee bound um the whole time we we were going there keep in mind I've only been to Tennessee once and that was last year to go to Nashville me and my husband went out to Nashville <laughs> amazing but uh this was me the whole car ride through the North Carolina Tennessee mountains um pretty pretty nerve-wracking and the whole time on the way up there I kept, just kept telling my husband I was like look I need salty air and flat land like that is what I'm used to okay I'm from southeast North Carolina flat land salty air and these these hills and mountains and these 18 wheelers Whew. so by now we were in Searville Cere Tennessee and of course we had to stop at Bucky's so we stopped at this same Bucky's on the way home from Tennessee and I loved it. I picked up the kids a few things my mama some stuff and we also got our lunch from here So this part right here, dry, literally driving up this mountain was terrifying. I kept like scooting over to uh to be closer to my husband thinking that was going to do something. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think this footage here was, I was comfortable enough to film it the next day. Because baby, that first day driving up these hills, this would not have happened. So this was Brockdale Mountain, Tennessee. Um, I think it's right outside of Dunlap, Tennessee, where we went. And um, you'll see here, well, not here, but later on, you're going to see where we stayed at. And it's Mountain Glen Campground and RV thing. Y'all, it was so nice. The nicest campground I've ever been to. If you're ever in Southeast Tennessee, you've got to check out this campground. Very, very friendly owners. Um, Extremely nice. I absolutely love the glamping tent that we were in. Once again, y'all are about to see that footage, so stay tuned. So, we were headed to Chattanooga, but we had to stop and look at this overlook. It's so beautiful. Like, I told you, I've never been to the mountains. And just to see how close the clouds are to the mountains, I don't know. And then this, this was my favorite um, view that whole time we were in Tennessee. Such a beautiful sight. And then this was us just hanging out on the porch of our glamping tent. Just hanging out that night. Um, I was reading a book. We had a candle lit. Like, y'all, I was, it was just so unbelievably relaxing here. Um, just being here is, is why... This, this is where I got the urge to delete all social media. Like, pure tea peace here. I had no cell phone service. I, to call home, I had to get on Wi-Fi. But here's a glimpse of the t glamping tent that we stayed in. It had electric. It had a stove in it, running water, coffee pot. Like, it was super nice. So, of course, they had bathhouses, showers, and all that. And they were the cleanest campground bathhouses I've ever been in um so this glamping tent also had air conditioning heat this mini fridge the bed slip so comfortable y'all promise i'm not sponsored or anything but 
this place was nice. And like I said, if you're ever in Southeast Tennessee, please check this place out. Nothing really matters. That's all I want to do. I hope that you safe and dead. So unfortunately, we we're packing up our Tennessee trip had come to an end. It was time to go, but I did not want to leave without getting y'all this view. This is the view. Like, how beautiful is that? My husband cooked us breakfast out there on that grill the, um, the mornings we were there while I sat there on the porch and had my coffee. And that is like on the hill where we, well, the mountain, <laughs> the mountain that we stayed at. But y'all, that is going to be it for this evening's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope I motivated y'all and I will see y'all back here Friday.